Warfare is based on deception. For years, the West's hypocrisy has made the world a battlefield. The corrupt talk, while our brothers and sons spill their own blood. Both ways. Russian authorities claim the attack was orchestrated by an American CIA operative named Joseph Allen. The bigger the lie, the more likely people will believe it. And when a nation cries for vengeance, the lie spreads like a wildfire. I'm looking at fighter jets over at any climb. The fire builds, devouring everything in its path. This is a deliberate act of war against the United States. Our enemies believe that they alone dictate the course of history. All it takes is the will of a single man. Hey guys, this is the Black Link from End of the Week Podcast. We are here with Modern Warfare 3, Infinity Ward's latest offering in the Modern Warfare first-person shooter series. We're going to be giving you our first-hand preview with some of the multiplayer aspects, uh, the different weapons, perks, attachments, and killstreaks that are available. Uh, so without further ado, let's just jump right in. Uh, as usual, Call of Duty games, the first thing they want you to do is set up your screen and stuff, so I'll just speed on through that so we don't have to sit there and watch me adjusting my TV. Alright, a disturbing content notice, just like last time. Uh, hopefully this time we won't just be shooting civilians. Maybe we'll be baby kicking. <laughs> Alright, and here's the main menu for Modern Warfare 3. As you can see, there's Special Ops, Campaign, and Multiplayer. We'll be covering Special Ops and uh, Campaign later, so right now we're just going to focus on the multiplayer. That's all you guys care about anyway. Now here is the multiplayer menu. Of course there's play online, split screen, LAN party for those who actually do that, and Elite. Now for those of you who don't know, all three of you, Elite is sort of like Call of Duty Facebook. It comes with a bunch of extra stuff, but I'll cover that later. Now for those of you who played Black Ops, this will look familiar. You have the vault where you can save videos of your uh, previous battles. You can go to your online vault, your friends vault, or uh, battles that have been saved directly to your hard drive. This is a few I had uh, last night, right after the release. Other than that, there's the store where you can buy content and options in the main menu. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about really quick was the uh, barracks, as there's been a couple new things added. I mean, of course, there's the challenges, accolades, and leaderboards and all that. Oh, by the way, I checked the leaderboards immediately after release. Yeah, they're already destroyed. But anyway, new to the game is the prestige shop, where you can use things called prestige tokens that you earn every time you reach prestige level to buy stuff like an extra custom class, double EXP, double weapon EXP for your proficiencies, um, unlock gear, which I think unlocks a loadout that you can keep, through your next prestige or something like that, and packages which come with uh, titles and call signs for apparently the Call of Duty enthusiast. <laughs> and other than that, there is the reset all stats option, which takes you back to absolute level zero. I, I think you lose all your prestige tokens, all your prestige titles, and everything. That's for all you crazy people who just really love to do it over and over and over. I don't know, man, I can't do it. I'm not that dedicated. Now as for the actual match finding portion, there are actually two separate playlists. The standard playlist, which is full of team deathmatch, free for all, all the normal stuff, and advanced playlist, which is full of game types that are unlocked as you level up, such as team tactical, mosh pit, hardcore team deathmatch, hardcore kill confirmed, domination, team tactical, you know, all the normal stuff. There are a few new game modes. Uh, one of my favorites being Kill Confirmed, which is essentially Team Deathmatch, where you have to collect an enemy's dog tag after you take them out. Other than that, there's 
regular team deathmatch, mercenary, which is no parties, free for all of course, domination, ground war, defender, demolition, search and destroy, everybody's favorite, headquarters, capture the flag, you guys know the regular games. Alright, I'd say that about covers it for uh, the game modes and basically all the multiplayer menu stuff. Uh, what do you say next we jump into weapons, perks, and killstreaks? Alright, the next part of our video is going to be a weapon showcase. Uh, for this we're going to head into private mode because unlike other Call of Duty games, in private mode you actually start with everything unlocked. So uh, it makes it really easy to check all the weapon types and stuff. As usual, you get five custom classes to start out with. So uh, let's jump right in and see what our primary and secondaries are. For assault rifles, you'll notice a lot of classic um, Call of Duty weapons. You've got the M4A1, the M16, the SCAR, a CM90, a Type 95, a G36, the ACR 6.8, which is what I'll be using, an MK14, an AK47, and a new weapon called the FAD. Under submachine guns, there's an MP5, the UMP45, that's a classic, the PP90, a P90, a PM9, and an MP7. Under light machine guns, there's the classic L86, an MG36, the PKP, an MK46, and an M60. And now the crown jewel of Modern Warfare 2, the sniper rifles. We've got the classic Barrett 50 caliber, an L118A, another classic, the Dragonov, an AS-50, the RSASS, and an MSR. I played around with the RSASS a little earlier. It's definitely kind of like the EBR. Now, from what I've seen already of the gameplay, I think this, I think Modern Warfare 3 is going to be very sniper-orientated, or rather, very sniper-friendly. Uh, it wasn't so much so with Black Ops, and I, I, as I recall, Infinity Ward said they're putting back in quickscoping, so... All you crazy 360 snipers should be pretty happy. Alright, up next are the secondary weapons. Of course, you've got handguns, machine pistols, and launchers. Um, most of the same handguns from Modern Warfare 2 are back. A few new ones are the 5.7 and the P99. Which is based on, what is it, the Walther PP7? James Bond's gun. <laughs> A good deal of the launchers are also the same. Uh, you've got your basic free fire lock-on small, the javelin, the stinger, a uh, new thing is the XM25, which is a high-powered grenade launcher. I played around with that earlier. It's actually pretty cool. You can mark distances and somewhat lock onto targets. Now, one of the biggest changes for Modern Warfare 3 was the fact that you can equip essentially three upgrades per weapon. The first of which being proficiencies, which I'll go over right now. Uh, these include abilities like Kick, which reduces recoil, Impact, which is sort of like FMJ, Attachments, which is... Um, gives you dual attachments for weapons, focus, breath, which allows you to hold your breath when you're aiming down the sights, and stability, which uh, reduces sway time. Now, the really cool thing about these is a lot of them used to be perks, so now that you can attach them directly to weapons, you don't have to waste a perk slot on them. As for attachments, there's the basic, you know, sights, holographics, um, holographic and red dot, ACOG, heartbeat sensors, silencers, grenade launchers, master keys, all that stuff. One of the really cool things, actually, is when you choose a separate site for your weapon, you can actually choose what type of reticle you want. I mean, I went through it really quickly, but you can see that I chose Omega over in the corner next to the 2, which stands for attachments. There's also a ton of new tactical and lethal equipment that I don't have the time to cover right now, but I know two that you're going to love. The trophy system, which destroys enemy projectiles, and the bouncing Betty. <laughs> uh, just take my word for it. It's awesome. Another thing that's changed is a lot of the perks. Um, many of them do the same abilities, but their pro versions are different. Like Sleight of Hand is still faster reloading, but it's pro version, instead of being able to aim down the sights faster, you are now able to swap your weapons faster. Other than that, there's Blind Eye, Extreme Conditioning, which is like Marathon, except you can no longer infinitely run. It just allows you to sprint for a longer distance, and then the pro version allows you to climb for a longer distance. I guess that was an attempt to uh, counteract all the... Commando Pro attack knifers, which you actually don't have to worry about in this game. Commando Pro is gone. Oh, let the people rejoice. Two of the perks that were removed from the game were Commando Pro and One Man Army, both of which were said to give an unfair advantage to certain players, and I'm, I'm sure everybody here who's played Modern Warfare 2 has gone up against a lightweight marathon Commando Pro attack knifer, and uh, everyone else has gone 
maybe gone up against a one-man army grenade launch swapper guy. Um, they were two of the combinations that fans really, really disliked, and so Infinity Ward listened, and they are now gone. Alright, now the last thing I'm going to cover in this video is going to be killstreak rewards. Now, for those of you who are more familiar with Modern Warfare, there's going to be a lot of uh, the killstreaks from that game in this, so you should feel right at home. Um, now, the first difference with killstreaks is that you actually get three groups of them instead of just one. You have the assault group, which is offense oriented streaks, like uh, UAVs, care packages, predator missiles, attack helicopters, a strafe run, which is essentially the. Um, the Harrier Strike of this game, except it's with helicopters, Juggernaut Armor, and the new big gun of this game, the Osprey Gunner, which is essentially like a chopper gunner that drops an emergency airdrop. After that, there is the support group, which is defense-orientated killstreaks. So stuff like your UAVs, counter UAVs, SAM turrets, which are from Black Ops, Recon Drones, Advanced UAV, uh, Stealth Bomber, EMPs, Juggernaut Recon, which I think drops juggernaut armor I'm not sure I haven't gotten that one yet and an escort airdrop which is essentially the same as a as a Osprey gunner except you don't control the Osprey it just drops your packages and then kinda follows you around and protects you as you go now the last group of killstreaks is actually called a specialist group and what it does is it adds extra perks to your character so you can have hardline assassin whatever you didn't pick in your first three perks you can have on or you can put in specialist and uh, just rock with that uh, how about we name this Falcon gear yeah that'll work yes <laughs> alright guys that's going to be it for our very first Modern Warfare 3 video but don't worry the fun doesn't stop here keep an eye on our channel we're gonna be having uh, upcoming videos with multiplayer matches um, spec ops, we might be doing a campaign thing. If you guys want it, let us know in the comments below. And, uh, weapons tutorials and videos where we show off the different attachments, what they do, perks, killstreaks, all that good stuff. Alright, well, I wanted to keep this short, so. Alright, well, this is the Black Link for End of the Week podcast, where every day is the end of the week. Alright, get out there and game, guys.